series to sort of bring Jada's beautiful presentation into the work that we that Jam led this summer. I'd like to welcome uh, Jamila to give her presentation. My name is Jamela. I'm a student at William and Mary studying Asian American Studies and Public Policy. And the summer of 1882, I was mainly involved with the Literature Corner initiatives revolving around Asian American literature. Um, I've had such a great um, summer of 1882. Um, so thank you so much for coming out. And I am also the last intern to present, so thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> So growing up, I think I was always that one kid who actually got excited when he had to read poetry in class. But disclaimer, I wasn't always interested in Asian American literature. In fact, I didn't even really know what it was. But the first encounter with Asian American literature that I can actually remember was in freshman year of high school when I stumbled upon this spoken word poem called B, which was written by a biracial Japanese American poet named Sarah Kay. And despite being obsessed with that poem for months on end, I didn't really think about more of the implications about it being Asian American literature. And it didn't all start to click until I got to sophomore year of college, just last year, when I took a class called Transnational Asian American Literature, where on the very first day of class, our professor asked us, what is Asian American literature? And I was stumped. And so were the rest of my peers in that class. Um, and by the end of the semester, I still didn't really have one concrete definition of Asian American literature. And I realized that maybe that's the point. For me personally right now, Asian American literature is just something that intertwines one of my biggest passions, literature, um, with something that's inherent to my identity, being Asian American. And it took me until college in a class to find out what Asian American literature is, or not find out what it is. Um, and so coming to the 1882 Foundation, um, I really wanted to work on the Literature Corner initiatives so that Asian American literature can be something that becomes more accessible to everybody. Um, so over the, last over the last two months, I developed this blog on our website. It's titled Hashtag Why API Lit, and this is what it looks like on our site right now. Um, right here we have three highlighted posts. Um, one that's written by Jaja. Um, and if you click right here, you can see the rest of the posts that we have. And one of my main goals with this blog is that it starts a discussion within the Asian American community, specifically about Asian American literature. Um, it becomes a, this resource where people can find um, Asian American literature that resonates with them. And um, we also invite you to um, be a part of this initiative by submitting your own review of books that you engage with um, with a submission box that we have um, down below. And so at the same time that I was kind of starting to develop this um, blog on our site, um, the 1882 Foundation was invited to participate at the Literary Lounge at the Smithsonian Asian American Literature Festival, which was held earlier um, this month. And it came at such a perfect time. And so um, when I was starting to plan that event with Ali, um, something that I kept thinking about was, what can 1882 bring to the table? And so I thought about these three questions, the same three questions that plagued me when I was trying to define what Asian American literature was when I took that class. So why do we need APIA literature? How does APIA literature influence you? And why does APIA literature matter? And all of these questions led me to hashtag YAPIA Lit. So at the Lit Fest, here are some pictures from our participation at the Literature Festival. So we brought these whiteboards um, <laughs> with questions um, that were very similar to the questions in the last slide. And we invited everybody who came to our table to answer them and take a picture with them so we could put it on our social media. And here are just some of the answers we got. There are way more, way more pictures than this. Um, and I'll just read some of my favorite answers. So at the bottom there, there's one that says, we need API literature because we are one people with much to learn from each other. And then I also really like this one where it says, hashtag why API lit. I only read one book by API authors in school. <laughs> just one. Um, and that was really, really mind-blowing to me. And just getting to see um, all of these people engage with a um, API literature on that day was really, really cool. 
Um, and so with just those three questions in mind and the overarching theme of hashtag why APIA lit, I just wanted to um, examine one piece of APIA literature with you. So this is a poem um, written by Wing Tech Lum, who we just had come to talk story um, a few weeks ago. And so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna read it out loud and then ask you guys a few questions <coughs> about your takeaways from the poem. What do you think of after reading this? And um, does it resonate with you? And if so, how? So this is Minority Poem by Wing Tech Lum for George Lee. Why? We're just as American as apple pie. That is, if you count the leftover peelings lying on the kitchen counter which the cook has forgotten about or doesn't know quite what to do with, except hope that the maid, when she cleans off the chopping block, will chuck them away into a garbage can she'll take out on leaving for the night. Any thoughts? Um, um, like some people might think or like say that they're like not racist um, and like it is true that like there, there's not really a lot of laws anymore that are explicitly racist against Asian Americans for example but um, there's still that like lingering association um, between Asian Americans and negative things and like this it's like like yes we're American pie but like if you really have to interact with the pie or with us, like what, like how would you treat the pie? Yeah, how would you, how would you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's like really powerful because leftover feelings might seem like trash, but if you really think about it, you wouldn't have an apple pie without those leftover feelings. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it really speaks to like the unseen labor that like Asian Americans have put into the country. I was gonna say the same thing. I love that theme of, you know, we so value the end result and the pie, but we don't often think about all the ingredients, all the process that was made for that. And um, like you're saying, it's just like that's a really powerful thing. Sure. Yeah, I like the um, idea that he that the the um, the cook doesn't won't like clean it up himself. He won't address the issue himself. The cook that somebody else would do it. I think it was kind of interesting in the context of. Any other thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I think one of my um, favorite things about this poem specifically is um, its brevity and I think how, how, how much it captures in such few lines. Um, so yeah, this is, I think this is one of my favorite poems by Wayne Tech Club. So I just wanted to show you this one poem because I think um, that it shows the range of ideas that come up when you consider hashtag why API lit and um, as well as how impactful um, Asian American literature can be. And um, I thought I did this. Um, if I had more time, I was also going to show you this um, <laughs> quote from America is in the Heart. Um, but I don't think I have time. But anyways, um, so yeah, one of, my big, one of my biggest lessons from my summer at 1882 Foundation this, um, the last few months is that there are people out there who care about this. And I know I personally geek out a lot about API literature, and I know my fellow interns can vouch for me when I say I do, since they were there with me when we ran into one of my favorite poets at the Asian American Literature Festival, and I was completely starstruck. <laughs> Not one of my most glamorous moments, um, but even seeing the dialogue today, I think, um, has helped me create a bigger definition of Asian American literature. And even if literature isn't your thing, I think the point goes beyond that. I think the bigger picture is really knowing and acknowledging why it matters. Um, we all value stories in one way or another. That's why we come here for talk story. Um, and I think literature broken down is just stories, and that's something we can all relate to. Thank you.